Hi guys, this is Reason. Hi guys, this is Reason. The weapon unknown, El Arma, Desconocido. I like it. All it is is a water gun. But if you've been following, you know what I did with the water gun. One gun up, one gun down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I got my little Halle Cat shirt on. Hey, Halle, how's it going? You know, how do you like this shirt? This is my design. It's at the full effect. You like it? How do you like it? Just walk in here. How do you like my design? Reason. The weapon unknown. Coming to you from Rep Station. How's it going, kids? Students? Lend me your ear. What was it? What was the quote? Countryman, lend me your ear. People to the left of me, the right of me. Anyway, but all it is is a water gun. And of course, if you have been watching me, this one don't want to stay up, but you know, I can always, you know, tie it over. You know, bow tie, you know, neck tie. That's how it is. You know, who said, and you know, how long have they had, you know, guns and stuff? And born brown and black, you know. Alright. But whatever you want to make your, your holder, your holster, that's up to you. You know, I'm a tech artist, computer scientist, the American University, class of 1998. Guess who presided over my graduation? Shimon Perez. You know, one of the Israel, Israel's leaders. Anyway, that's another story. This is the weapon unknown. El Arma Desconocido. Now I got a pack of these. Eight dollars for eight. Pretty cool, huh? I ordered a clear one. It's coming. You know, I feel it coming. You know, I feel the rapture coming. All the stuff that's going on, right? This one's going down too. I'm going for that, you know, robotic anime transformers look. You know, when you have the the, the weapon pointing up on this side. You know, if it was a longer, you know, battle, you would have that look. You know, like this. How would that look? You know, all the way up now. Remember that hair, huh? Of course it has to be pointing down because you know, your arms ought to be pointing at your head. You don't want to point at your head. But all it is is a water gun. Let me demonstrate. Hear the water running. It's the water warming. It's the water warming up. Wendy. Anyway, this is all it is. See, H two O. H two O. H two O. Right. Oh, excuse me. Oh, far out there. Anyway, let's test it out. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Let's test it out again. You're dead. You're dead. Nobody's hurt with this water gun. Now, if the United States comes to the point where you can't even buy a new water gun, and you know, I don't need a permit. I bought this six dollars. I lied. Six dollars for a pack of six or seven or how many it was. Six dollars. Anyway. Very well. It was actually made in Shantou, China. Ryan Cole. Made in China, like all our other products. Now is this what cell phone? What was this? I'm talking about. 
Anyway, messing it up. The pastor says not to cuss. So I'm a, I'm a father of the feather arts. I'm trying to teach y'all something. Do you have to go to school to get an art degree? Especially if you know you can't make money in the field. I mean, can there are some people that make money in the field. The graphic artists that go to school that work for maybe uh, Time Magazine, have to put a layout and stuff. But the artists that may be trying to sell, you know, the print. Don't sit around and join celebrities. You're wasting your time. By the time you get out of the 8th grade, if you know what you want to do, 8th grade, you should be on another level than join celebrities. Because you do not own this picture. No matter what you do, no matter if you come up with something completely original, you got to really set it off. This is from, you know, my little set it off tribute. Queen Latifah, the baddest rapper. Actually, I'm the baddest, but Queen Latifah. Yeah, set it off. Right? Anyway, do not waste your time drawing celebrities. You got to draw pictures that you can actually sell. Original pictures. You know, I came up with my own comic. First, it started off as a little, you know, you know, Star Wars tribute. But, you know, take away the Star Wars crap and the uh, prototype stuff. The movie, prototype movie. I think the movie that never happened called Prototype. Anyway, take away that. And you have my comic, Weapon Unknown. A guy, you know, a computer scientist. In 2020, he's sitting around. He's, I don't know, what's, he's, a, he's a failed businessman. He, he just, he started have, having these dreams of two gigantic, meteorific, opposing forces that have killed and killed and killed and killed. And he had enough. So he started with a water gun. Upgraded it all the way up to a laser weapon, which I have done on paper. And I own the name. Is it still rolling? I own the name on this gun. Nobody owns it but me. You know, there's this unknown soldier crap. Unknown soldier. I used to think as a kid, you know, unknown soldier. I mean, he must have got killed and nobody knew who he was. And, you know, so he's John Doe and he's in the Mark Grave in Arlington Cemetery. He's an unknown soldier. That's not the meaning of an unknown soldier. An unknown soldier is somebody that has done so much crap. They don't want you coming out. They don't want you getting anywhere. You'll be arrested again and again and again. They think they can, you know, take every woman you got. You know. You might be in the fields of Iraq and shot in the back like an NFL football player. The other guy's probably jealous of his ass. He can call by the superstar celebrities, girls, find his head walking up to his, oh, 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 you're the football star. You know, even... Ranks above him. Ranks above him. Ranks above him. Oh, you're the football star. He dies, you know, in Iraq. Because he wanted to be patriotic. He wasn't unknown because he was a football star. But there are people, unknowns, dead in the fields of Iraq. Sent there by their presidentes. And they're sitting in Arlington Cemetery grave. Are there unmarked graves in Arlington Cemetery for the unknown soldiers? If they're not, that's a big mistake, but hey, that's another story. Anyway, this is my story. Weapon Unknown. Get the graphic novel. I put a few issues. I'm putting a few issues out on my site, but, you know, I expect real feedback. You know, people just get my stuff and make billion dollar movies. Billion dollar movies. You know, I was being modest. You got to be real. I have a billion dollar library that anybody can download. Go to my site. The establishment. X. As in Xavier. You know, throw his ass out. X dot. Throw that out. Which one? Xerox. Throw that out. X. You know. Exercisement.com. Working unknown. Dead yet. Am I gonna go to jail for walking around with a, with a, uh, a toy gun? This is a toy gun.
This is an elementary school's little toddler's toy. So they're going to keep the door in. Because the moment they keep the door in and ban water guns, it's over. And I, really, if you really look at the laws, it's over now. Because they're telling you, you really cannot own a gun. That's what they're really telling you. And this bitch is a police state. Y'all welcome to my wedding. November 20, what? 20th. November 20th. 5.30 p.m. I got the girl of my dreams. Don't cross my line, okay? I'll wake you up. Oh, are you dead yet? Now, is this phone water resistance? Because I've been shooting this shit up. 